this is Alex Barnhart, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I designed and implemented all the sounds in the Unreal 4 strategy game tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how I implemented using WISE and Unreal 4 Blueprint, as well as show you a couple specific techniques on how I achieved the sounds that I did. At the end of this video, I have a short section where I will just play the game and let you hear how it sounds. In the first section of this video, I'm going to break down how I built the ambiences in the game. Now the base of all the ambience in the level is this one 2D loop that I have running through the entire thing. Now it's built off of one long loop that I cut up into roughly quarters. Using this technique, I'm able to come up with a more cohesive sounding ambience that varies more over time and creates a more natural sounding experience for the player. All of the sounds in the game you hear are designed by me using Reaper. For the basic cave ambience, I used a ton of different layers of various different pitch shifted, salt bubbling, um, this deep cave ambience I found in my library, some vinegar baking, and some wind. All together and chopped up and wise, it sounds like this. Another layer in the ambience is these bubbles that I have set in a random container set to loop with a transition. Now I use the transition type delay so that there is a one to two second delay between each bubble so that it isn't a constant thing and they're not overlapping each other. And that sounds like this. Placed throughout all the levels, I have four different wind accent nodes. These nodes are referencing a blend container I have of a number of different wind one-shots and a wind loop that I have running. Given that in the game scene there are four places where the wind loop is activated, I have created a seek function that will randomly seek between 0 and 95% of the way through the sample. Therefore, those four loops do not get played directly on top of each other. Using the initial delay node, I have a minimum of five seconds with a maximum of eight seconds between one shots. In the advanced settings tab, I have limited the sound instances to only having two play at the same time. Therefore, all four nodes will not be playing at the same time, giving you a more realistic sense of where the wind would be coming from. In the parent node, I have made the ambient cave wind sound three-dimensional. Therefore, depending on where the camera is located in the game scene, you will hear the winds pan based on where they originated from. Throughout the game, there were placed a few particle effect generators, a few falling dust, as well as a few lava splashes. I replaced these with blueprint classes where I was able to attach a on particle spawn node and connect it to a post event at location to create a lava splash or a dust fall for each event. Back in WISE, the event triggers a random dust fall that I designed in Reaper that sounds a little bit like this. Alternatively, if the lava burst were to sound, you would hear something a little bit like this. In each of the tower types, there is a event on build finished and event on build started function. These are the two functions that obviously start and stop the function. I wanted a loop that would play when the tower was being constructed and I wanted it to stop and I wanted a stop sound to start when the construction was completed. I created a blueprint class for both of those events, SFX stop build and SFX start build. And using the get AK component, I am able to post an event at the location and attach it to the blueprint class of each tower. 
This means that I am able to start and stop the loop based on the two events being called. When the tower construct function is called, the tower construct loop begins, and that sounds like this. When tower construction is started, we trigger five different events happening all at the same time. The base layer is this grinding loop here. I also have this higher pitched, more rhythmic grinding loop, as well as a few more one-shot based loops. All these together blend to create the final sound. In my experimentation, I wanted to try a couple different techniques on how I created the hammer loops. The hammer high sounds are three different sounds that I created in Reaper and simply just threw them into a random container with a little bit of pitch modulation. The lower pitched hammer construction, I took out smaller sections of a larger piece and was able to blend those together to create one more cohesive sound. In the game, there is one main character and he marches along the path and tries to attack your own characters and then your brewery at the end. Now, he has an attack animation that I split up into two events in his animation. You have the initial windup and then the attack event. For the dwarf's armor foley, I took a suitcase that I had with a lot of metal-y, jingly bits and I shook that against my body to create the sounds for the foley, and those sound like this. Much to my roommate's dismay, I took a bunch of takes of me grunting into my microphone, and after processing that, I threw those into this random container. Knowing that this was a vocalization, I also took a few more variations of this sound, and that sounds like this. <coughs> <coughs> For most of the UI sounds, I used the stock Unreal sound engine to trigger that. So for these, I have my UI menu start, exit, and enter nodes. However, after looking through the level blueprint, I found the original play sound at location for the incoming wave stinger in here. So I used a post event at location node to trigger that. And in Wise, that sounds like this. Thank you for taking the time to check out my Unreal Wise demonstration. I'm gonna leave you at the end with a little bit of gameplay. Thank you so much.